We went shopping on day three in Beijing to get ready for our long train ride tomorrow. Um, this is a supermarket, but it's down in the basement. And they have lots of similar things to what you'd have in a normal supermarket or grocery store. Um, some of them are just a bit different though. Some of them have funny names. You can buy pre-packaged biscuits and <laughs> things like different types of lollies and gum. Looks like Ollie has decided to go for some cashew nuts as a snack. Oreos with uh, some of them have a bit of a twist. A little bit different. So um, Chinese snacks often involve meat and so this is quite a common one. It's chicken wings uh, in, a, in a pack so sealed up that you can have as a snack. You can buy coffee if that's your thing. thing. And of course there's all the things you'd need for cooking like rice and cooking oil and things like that. We're not going to be doing any cooking on this trip though so we'll be giving this stuff a miss. So baby formula is in hot demand here, you can see, um, well there's the price up there, but they actually have electronic security tags on each individual can so people can't walk off with them. They've got dried mushrooms and I guess all the sorts of things you'd find at a normal Asian grocer as well to go with your cooking. cooking. But about 20 different types of chili paste. They've got some fresh fruits and vegetables here as well, but it's not a really big section. For this sort of thing you're probably better off to go to a fruit and vegetable shop rather than trying to get it from the supermarket. That's a serious pile of mung beans to do some conditioning with. with. Eggs in plastic bags, I guess you have to be careful when you're carrying those home. Those. A butchery section. More lollies. All sorts of lollies. And of course a dairy section. And ice cream. Ice blocks. And here's the fresh bakery section with all sorts of cookies and cakes and special breads. Things like that. Various sorts of toiletries, more interesting packaged meat snacks, chopsticks of various sorts, some basic home appliances, cooking gear, and even some sports equipment at the end. And check this out, a lot of people spit them out, but here you can buy watermelon seeds all by themselves. They have some uh, different flavoured potato chips as well. You can even buy some pot plants here on your way out the checkout. Check so we each ended up buying um, a variety of snacks and drinks and bottles of water for the train trip.